What's up StarCraft fans, you are watching a co-op mission, I am CTG and I'm playing as Karax. My masteries are combat unit resource cost, repair beam healing, and or er, spear vadoon energy. While waiting for the loading screen, a huge thank you to Zachary, who has supported me in the immobilization mid tier. Thank you to Nia Metal, who is supporting me at the pulse cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. You guys make this thing possible. Really. So. Today I'll be doing how to play Karax, specifically how to make or how to make Karax's army work. Normally when you play Karax you think cannons, defense. And that is true. However, for most for most missions, offense is more important than defense because the objectives require you to push out against the enemy bases. Good look for ally by the way. So to do that, I will need a fast expansion. Karax is one of those commanders who relies on his economy, so the earlier we can get our expansion the better. To do that, let's march forward, check the, check the minimap, not, no creep, therefore the enemy is not zerg. Let's see what the enemy is though. So I'll use the uh, hold position micro, oh, pull back, so I'll use solo lance to clear out the enemies. There we go, one more. See what else is here. So we'll, let's finish this off. Okay, there's a marauder there. The pylon actually uh, helps me a lot because it gives the enemies something to target aside from my aside from my units. So let's just finish off this this uh, this barrack so we can actually take our take our expansion. There it is, nice and early. Next up. I'll want a gas because Carax needs gas. And then a gateway. All right. Then I'll get another gas because all of Carax's good units, such as carriers, colossus, immortals, they all require gas. And you, oh, even the energizers too. Energizers are a good part of a healthy Karax army. Allies taking out his own expansion, that's good. He needs help. Let me burst this down for him. That should that should help him that should help him out. Gateway is complete, so let's start our cybernetics core. You want to tech up very quickly as Karax. Also, as soon as you hit, as soon as you hit uh, 200 gas, get that level one solar efficiency upgrade. There we go. Expansion is complete. Mm, I choose to complete my saturation here first, and then saturate my expansion, so I don't have to worry about it later on. But it is fine if you want to uh, spread out your spread out your supply a little more. Oh, allies again. There we go. Let's uh, start a Twilight Council. There it is. So we're fighting. You can see that the enemy starts with Hellions. Therefore, we'll, we'll be fighting Mech Terran. So it seems like a good idea to go for uh, to go for Robo here. And it's actually in it's it's actually interesting. It's not very often that uh, I can actually go robo as Karax. Usually, the enemy is heavily air, so I'll, I was I'm usually forced to get carriers. So now is a different, different game. Coroner boost is ready, by the way. So I let my ally know. As Karax, you you always ought to let your ally know when your coroner boost is ready, especially the first one because it's actually a critical one. But you don't have to keep yourself uh, tethered to him. If he's not responding. Uh, you'd rather you're better off using on Chrono than uh, than waiting on your ally to be ready. So now that uh, that now that it's ready, let's start. Let's actually start a couple upgrades, and then start Chrono Boost, and then go ahead and spam probes until we get full saturation. There it is. Allied forces are under attack. 
Let's use Solar Lance to clean these up. There we go. We're helping our ally. We're not we're not that selfish, but it does help to, to look out after yourself. Can of course make the I, I got the uh reclam or reclamation. Reconstruction upgrade for my sentinels. Yes, I did. Let's get the repair. And get an immortal. It might actually help for me to get another to, to get another pylon. Because I will get to play block soon. To to oh. Let's try that. Let me smash that. I am under attack. Care to assist? It's still micro. Oh, Expression Tower is targeting my sentinel, my poor sentinel. Let's get the uh, thermal lance for the for the immortal, or for the colossus rather. Apologies. Throw that. Get a, get these sentinels out. It doesn't hurt to get another, yeah, like I said, it doesn't hurt to get another robo. And a couple more gateways. Now let's try to clear, clear up the bonus area. The Purifier Beam is a splash damage uh, top bar. It's best used on large groups of, uh, of low health units. You do not want to focus to focus your uh, purifier beam on a single target like a hybrid or a structure because that is actually a very inefficient use of the uh, the purifier beam. You're better off uh, using it to follow a wave. Or to uh, yeah, to splash a lot of units. Just uh fly into a base or something. Again, whatever you whatever you do, don't don't focus it down on a single building. Um, if you can help it, if there's really no helping, I mean, you, I can't. <laughs> there's really nothing we can do. So let's research the third, and then let our ally know once again that Chrono is ready. It's not required to to always. Uh, of course, it's not required, but if it's a bit hectic. Sometimes you just have to let it go. We will answer. There we go. Destroy these. One of the Split. Don't wanna, don't wanna get our units heavily, spla heavily splashed on. Uh oh. Let's intercept that. Get some sentinels. Get the fire thing. Oh, the uh. <laughs> the attack rate seems to be stuck. They're probably under the under the assumption that I'll not they'll move my units out of the way. No sir, I'm actually waiting for you. Destroy that. I'll start this. Now we can take out these hellions. Use some more of these mobile strikes. Destroy that, there we go. You have protected another of my brethren. Let's use solar lands. Destroy this. I am unable to progress due to the tower's interruption. Okay. Let's get a pro Allied it seems that my uh, my builder probe died. Another personality safe. So let's send another one. Just send just keep sending builder probes. In case uh, you lose you lose stuff. Oh, never mind. There it is. Destroy these. You want to use orbital strikes on as much as possible on groups of units. Basically, any any splash damage you want to use them on on groups of units rather than individual units if you can help it. If not, there, there is nothing to do. Keep, get, keep getting units. Might as well get a forge. 
can see I, normally Carax players get the forge first, but this time I'm delaying it in favor of uh Oh, it's like this for me forge anyway. Oh well. Now let's keep going. Oh, those are banshees. We won't let those live for too long. We want. Yeah, we want a bunch of. Uh, we actually want a bunch of energizers. Oh, no, no, not that, not that building. Uh, let's push forward. Chrono? Which one's getting splashed? Split? Okay, just lost, just got one splashed on. Oh, one destroy that, um, that banshee. Don't want to let that live. Alright, it's Chrono Boost now. That should greatly increase the output of our structures. Alright. Push in. Our allies are already being aggressive, that's good. Put this in a separate control group. Just in case ouch, that's that would that would hurt. We definitely didn't need to get splashed on. To control that. Four. There we go. Yeah, taking care of taking taking control of enemies is not, is a fun thing that you can do as Carax. Okay, let's try this banshee. There we go. Actually, I, I don't even need to. Uh, don't even need to cap it with units. I can just use a solar lance. Or I can just use a pure fire beam later, I mean. Let's keep making units. Okay. We have another builder probe. That's a good that's in a good spot. Might as well get the uh Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'll drop the pure fire beam here because this is where the, where they'll spawn. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> nice, that is nice, that is awesome. Alright. Well, got a bit of damage in. So that's nice. Where are they spawning? Oh, I think they're spawning here. Let's smash these then. Get some more sentinels. Destroy that. Next one will spawn here. So let's get our units ready. Get some more energizers. Because A, energizers can take control of enemy units, and B, they can speed up our own units, even if even if they don't find anything to take control of. There we go. Smash this. Okay. Let's use uh solar lance. Let's get these upgrades. Smash these. Oh, oh that thing got Teleport it. <laughs> oh man, that's unfortunate. But let's uh, take care of it anyway. There we go. Next one will be here. Chrono again. Whenever you can, where, whenever you can manage, just tell your ally. I have Chrono ready. Okay. Smash these. Okay, so I can't actually. Uh, can't actually uh, s get vision of that, so I might as well send. Uh, I might as well warp in a few units, basically sacrificial units, and move those things out of the way so they don't get splashed on. And I think that's it. Splash on these siege tanks. There we go. Target the uh, the most uh, the most dangerous units. And start a couple pylons here. Uh oh, don't get splashed on. There we go. There we go. 
just dance away like that then smash this next area to control these these big units there we go yes to control all their big units to make the rest fall that much easier Okay, Ally seems to be taking, taking care of that, so I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take another route to. More of our purifier kin are being stored in this data core. Recover them if you can. To the bonus. Siege that up. Ally seems to be starting it. Nice, it's good. Solar lens, solar lens. Oh, that's uh, that's that's a dangerous unit right there. There we go. Nice, my ally's doing the research. Nice. Okay, I think that's all. I think I think that's everything. I can uh, I can move my move my units to the next area. Okay. Let's prepare to camp. You can see that I am I am massing units. Hostile forces have been deployed to my position. Destroy these, destroy these widow mines. There we go. We steal a Goliath if I can manage. Okay. The uh, first, the first suppression tower spawning there. That means the second will spawn here. Nice, nice use of Levig. Let's corner boost our robotics. Flash these. There we go. Right as we right as we expected. There we go. Destroy those. Finish that thing off. There we go. There's another upgrade, by the way, for the immortal, but that I just chose not to get because of uh, resource constraints. But now I can get. Oh, actually, I already got it. All right, let's set the the immortals in a separate control group then. Now let's get to take care of this, and I'm going to use the uh, the shadow cannon on this to finish it off instantly. There we go. Finish these last ones off, and there we go. All we need to wait for the last wave, and I believe it will spawn here. There we go. Just uh, use it there. Solo lands, finishes off, and GG. That is how you play Karax. I mean, let's max out. <laughs> let's, max, let's max out just so, uh, yeah. I mean, we've been we've been losing a few units at a time, but yeah, we are able to replace those quite easily. There it is, GG. No trace of the Taldarim personality remains. It appears he is truly dead at last. Fine work, commanders. Hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. Let's see how well we did. I mean, I don't think we did terribly. I mean, the Hawk has a, has a lot of firepower, but I think we played really well. There it is. Not quite double his skills, but considering that Karax is more defensively oriented as is intuitive. It's correct, by the way. He is defensively oriented, but he can. He can have his value on offense if you... Well, if you focus your uh, if you focus your strengths on offensive units, what I did again, just to recap of what I did, I got my expansion very quickly. In the in the beginning, I was just using my uh, my spear of a dune to destroy it, but I was but I was teching, I was teching constantly. Uh, first the gateway, then the cybernetic core, then choose your composition to match to match what the enemy has. Since if we had if we had Robo, I would I would have gotten more uh, more. Uh, Energizers to take to take control of the enemies. Mech is good, but you can see the the only units that are really worth taking are the siege tanks and the Thors. And if the battle cruisers, well, I never got I never got to see any battle cruisers because my ally cl cleared out the last base where the battle cruisers are. But if the enemy is a robo, you can take care of you can take control of uh, of the Colossus, Immortals, Carriers, Tempests, lots of things for for, for even Void Race if you can if if you really want to. For most things, if, for example, if the enemy is Zerg, if the enemy is uh, uh, Sky, Terran, Sky, 
Yeah, that, that sort of composition. If you want to be safe, just go for Mass Karras. Mass Karras are good too. After the after the Cyberdex core, go for a Stargate and then the Fleet Bacon. Other than that, for mutations, again, I suppose most of you already know. If you want to, if you want to, uh, if for special uh, mutations, for example, that are that 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 the armies have a trouble, have some trouble completing, you can all you can always go for Static Defense Carax. And I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else to do, please leave that in a comment. See you.